this is uh, this is hard. Uh, when I uh, when I got here this morning, I was intent on painting this boat, and then I started feeling the sides and feeling how smooth everything is, and finding all the imperfections. And there are a lot of them. This hull, in particular, on the seams of every every panel, this boat's made of. It's it's not fair. It's it's not. It's pretty close. But there's a lot of imperfections I would like to work out of this hull. So I started doing some sanding. But I realized I can probably do that for months and months. And I simply don't have that time. So, uh, I'm going to paint this as it is, uh, primer, and uh, that's it. Uh, it won't be the finishing primer, but I have a limited time left here in Australia, and I need to protect my boat. So. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to prime the hulls in, in this sort of state, which is pretty good, but not perfect. And uh, if I have time left before I really have to leave, I'll continue with some fairing. Uh, but the important part for me right now uh, is that I need to protect the boat and I don't know when I can come back to, to finish it because of, uh, yeah, Corona and everything else, uh, the world's a bit crazy. So, so I'm doing what I have to do. Uh, so paint, prep for paint and paint. I'll do a, I'll we'll remove some dust first, and then I'll uh, go over it with the paint thinner and uh, slap some paint on. <laughs> and Vilda's port side is going to look all peachy uh, or pinkish or, yeah, peachy. I, I, I'd go with peachy. <laughs> Okay, that's the, the first step. I hope you can hear me, because... Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, that's uh, the first step. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Paint thinner for this primer. And this surface is actually looking really, really good. But uh, it's really clean. And uh, I'll uh, wait a while for this to evaporate, but I'll also uh, mask uh, the water line on the bootstrap because <laughs> I don't want to lose those lines. The, uh, I need to keep them so I know where the, the water line should be. This isn't rocket science, but I figured one of these uh, short drop cloths would be very useful.
for first coat. I'm uh, pretty pleased. Uh, <laughs> excellent roller, excellent paint. And my mistakes don't look as bad as I thought they might. I mean, you can see them, but damn, looking real good. Real good. With you, the sun is shining 24 7. Cause when we're together, it feels like we're in heaven. If it will get dark, you'll be my million stars. I know I can lean on you. Oh, you catch me like a leaf falling from a tree. If I'll be a shooting star, you make a wish. No, I don't fake this kind of feeling, never felt so real. My heart is on the table because you're my everything. I do. This is three coats. And I am incredibly pleased. Very, very pleased. There's uh, four coats on the bow because I had a little bit extra paint uh, left over. Four coats. That was five liters of paint. It's insane how, how well this paint covers. But it has almost, well, as little what's it called, uh, thinner in it as possible. It's a high solid paint. And <laughs> she's gonna look even better when I remove uh, the, 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 the tape. But damn, <laughs> I, am, I am incredibly pleased. Uh, oh, it's been, very enjoyable couple of hours of painting. Turned out beautiful. If I'd use a matte paint, I don't think I have to fare anymore. <laughs> but I don't think I'm going for a matte finish. <laughs> ah, there's, there's plenty of, uh, plenty of little dips and holes and uh, craters but yeah this is a as good a start as any and the hull is very well protected now against the elements and when I get back I'll just high pressure wash it and get the finishing coats on this is by far by far the scary scariest spider I have ever seen. Can you see the fucking size of that thing? That is insane. He's like, and he's like threatening me. Look at him. Insane. That thing is like six, seven centimeters across. I bravely defeated the spider with with a broom. I I, I hate the spiders. That one then that was that was huge. <laughs> I was uh, very happy with the results I got yesterday with, with all the paint and uh, it's time for the starboard side to get the same treatment I have a lot of sanding to do so today is going to be a full day of oh glorious sanding
So, when when is enough enough fairing? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say it's it's now <laughs> for this top bin. It's not perfect, uh, but you've got to stop somewhere. And because I know I'm gonna come back to this and do some more fairing uh, after paint or after primer, then uh, I'm gonna say this is enough. Okay, so I changed my mind. <laughs> uh, I have plenty of work to do, and uh, I think it would be unwise not to not to fill in all of these uh, little imperfections. There's quite a few of them on this side, and uh, I got the panels straighter on this side, but uh, they have some holes. But the, the curve in particular here has, well, too many uh, uh, imperfections. So, uh, what I'll do is I'll mix up some fairing compound, fill them in, and uh, I won't be painting tomorrow, which is fine. Uh, I've already cleaned the inside of the bows. Uh, so uh, they are ready for me to put some fairing compound on. So while this dries for a couple of days, or the, the, the new filling I'm gonna do dries over a couple of days, I, I'll uh, uh, start on the inside. Uh, yeah, why not? Uh, I like putting paint on, but it's just a little bit too early. I wish it wasn't, but it is. Very surprised and very happy. This actually turned out a hell of a lot better than I could have hoped for. Uh, the low spots that I filled have sanded down very nicely. Uh, like with anything hand-built, nothing's perfect. But it's pretty damn good, and it's certainly good enough for a first uh, coat of primer. And I'm not painting this boat black, so I think I'll get away with a bit of unevenness. I'm also not painting it white, so uh, yeah, <laughs> white would help. I'm going with a very, very high gloss paint. And that's not going to help me. <laughs> but I think I still think it's going to look great. I think it's going to look awesome. I l really like the idea of having a matte uh, finish. But yeah, I don't. I don't think it's a good option. And uh, I don't know why. But I have a feeling it won't last as as long as a high gloss finish I don't don't really know somebody knows let me tell me
make a bed of green the top of wide open scene under a canvas of blue i would draw ever nearer to you to feel the dew on your skin that is